Uh, today I just wanted to follow up on my uh, piece of writing I did when we were in Broken Hill, which was talking about how a lot of us um, identify with multiple cultures, and this includes Aboriginal people who often identify not only with the Aboriginal culture, but with colonial powers and their cultures, which I think is a really interesting background to have, and also to see that it's not an uh, white versus black divide that often the media is showing us. And I found it really interesting today that uh, when we met Cynthia, who was showing us around um, the with the rock carvings, to find out that she's actually a white woman who married a black fella uh, who was a custodian of the land. And she now very strongly... Uh, is, is very strongly connected and embraces Aboriginal culture and refers to herself as we when she talks about Aboriginal issues in her area. And she is actually considered uh, an appropriate person to speak on behalf of the community there. So I thought that was a really interesting example of that culture is not just about where we're born or who our parents are. Culture is about what we choose it to be and how we choose to enact it in our lives. And I was just, I found it a really amazing experience to see someone who obviously had found their place in, in life and uh, was clearly loving it.